Hey guys, welcome to Maybe Rose where you can find so many encouraging videos including faith videos, fashion, lifestyle, hair care and so much more. So definitely stay tuned and subscribe if you would like to see more. My new book, Lord Is This Relationship For Me is out now on paperback and Kindle. I'm so excited and you can also get my first book, Daily Devotional, which is also available on paperback and Kindle. I'll link the links below i'll put the links in the show more box but thank you so much so far for your encouragement and support it means so much and god bless you as you read the book please leave reviews please take pictures so i can put on social media thank you so much guys it has been an honor to serve you with my past experiences and the gems of wisdom which the lord has planted in my heart to share with you so today i wanted us to do some relationship declarations now i don't know about you but i know that i am going to enter a fulfilling mutually respectful loving anointed blessed relationship leading to marriage and i pray the same for you too but what i want you to remember is that it's it's a decision and it's a choice um God has given us dominion over the world. He has given us words that we can speak over our lives. He has given us gifts. He has given us power, to be fair. Like, he has given us his Holy Spirit. So we get to decide how our life goes. We can command our morning. We can command our life. And it's a little thing that you do every day. Things that may seem little, actually, like praying or declaring over your life and being consistent with that, spending time with the Lord and just having a 100% close relationship with God where you're actually striving to get closer to him it's those things that make a difference it's the decisions that you make you know when everyone is saying oh you're young why are you wasting your life being single and celibate while everyone is doing their thing you are there maybe the only one in your office maybe the only one in your family maybe you're the only one that hasn't had a child outside of wedlock maybe you're the only person that is holding yourself down and it may have been many years and it may seem like you look crazy but you don't you have to keep pushing and i truly believe um that this year is not going to end without the things that god promised coming to pass in your life so i just i really hope that you hold on and travel in prayer because i really want you to to get the things which god has promised you i don't want you to give up because of what it, it looks like or what it doesn't look like i want you to continue to push forth in faith it doesn't always look the way that you want it to look. If you use Abram and um, Sarah at the time, that's what they were called um, after they were called Abraham and Sarah. You know, Sarah Sarai was laughing when it was promised and when it was prophesied to her that she will have a child at the age of 100. It, it seemed crazy to her. It seemed crazy to her, but you know, she was laughing, but it happened. And I truly believe Hebrews 11 will encourage you because it's called the Hall of Fame in some translations, but it will encourage you that, you know, things that God has done, all the good things God has done, it will truly come to pass if you truly believe. So I really pray and hope that this encourages you. I've been observing some relationship breaking down. Um, these have been long-term relationships. Perhaps they didn't start off on a good foundation, perhaps they did, but for some reason or the other, the relationships haven't worked out. And I was just thinking to myself, sometimes it's a result of the decisions that we have or haven't made. Sometimes it's as a result of rushing into relationships, jumping into bed with someone, trying to forge a relationship outside of God, being disobedient, going back to exes, not putting the right boundaries in place not seeking wise counsel, not asking God, not having the right friends in our life that can encourage us to make good decisions. The whole thing sometimes is off and I just want to really encourage you to put that to one side and actually truly believe in the Lord that you say is a Lord God, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, the God that does all things, the God that is true, the God that is consistently faithful, the God that loves us, the God that died for our sins, the God that promised us, the God that promises us life eternal, the God that makes us have life in abundance, the faithful and loving almighty God who is higher. There's no other name higher than his name. I just want you to believe for yourself that you can have better in your life. I don't care if you've been abused. I don't care what you've been through in the sense that I don't care whether you're trying to put those things above what God can do for your life. I care about your well-being. But whatever you've been through, you can have a good relationship in Jesus' name. 
So when I was reflecting and praying about this video, I was led to Psalm 118. And I think that in Psalms, there's so many prayers and declarations. So I just want to kind of transform this and, and replace it with a relationship and things pertaining to relationships for us to say this together and truly believe. So if you have Psalm 119, please join me in faith. And I join my faith to yours and truly believe that if you're struggling, if you're going through a breakup, if you are just feeling like, when will I ever be a wife? Like you need to actually put the work in. As much as praying, you need to put the work in yourself. If you need to go to counseling, get counseling. If you need a life coach, get a life coach. Put the things in place that you need to be a better person so that you will actually be desirable to your husband. With this, like with spiritual matters, you want to make sure that you're on time. You want to make sure that you're travailing in prayer. You want to make sure that you're hearing from the Holy Spirit. You want to make sure that you're doing everything that you can, even if it's cutting certain friends off, certain distractions in your life, to just fully focus on this season in your life. You have to get what God has promised you before the end of this year. It has to happen. And I really want you to testify. So I'm looking forward to you testifying because I know that there's going to be some engagements this year. There's going to be some marriages this year from people that are watching me. God can turn things around in a matter of days, months, you never know what God can do for you. So I want you to be spiritually prepared. So please, let's take this seriously and say these de declarations. Psalm 118. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, and his mercy endures forever. Let Israel now say his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron now say his mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord now say his mercy endures forever. I called on the Lord in distress regarding my relationships. The Lord answered me and set me in a broad place. The Lord is on my side, I will not fear. What can man do to me? The Lord is for me among those who help me. Therefore I shall see my desire on marrying a godly husband on those who hate me. It is better to trust in the Lord than put confidence in a man that is not sent by God. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in comments from people that do not know me nor that do not know me spiritually nor love me truly. All nations surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord I will destroy them. Yes, they surrounded me, they surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord I will stand on my convictions about marrying a true and lovely godly husband. They surrounded me like bees, they were quenched like fire of thorns. For in the name of the Lord, I will destroy the enemy that tries to discourage me in this area. Past relationships have pushed me violently, spiritually and emotionally, that I might fall. But the Lord helped me. The Lord is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. The voice of rejoicing and salvation is in the tents of the righteous, which is in my house. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. The Lord has chastened me severely, but he has not given me over to death. Open to me the gates of righteousness and I will go through them and I will praise the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord through which righteousness shall enter. I will praise you, for you have answered me and have become my salvation. I may have been the stone which previous men in relationships have rejected, but I have now become the chief cornerstone. This was the Lord's doing. It is marvellous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Save now, I pray, O Lord. O Lord, I pray, send prosperity prosperity not only in the way that you bless my life in every area but in my relationships oh god blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord we have blessed you from the house of the lord god is the lord and he has given us light he has given us light to declare over our lives to prophesy over our lives the truth that concerns us that we will have fulfilling and blessed marriages and relationships moving forward Bind the sacrifice with corn, but bind the sacrifice with cords to the horns of the altar. You are my God, and I will praise you. You are my God, and I will exalt you. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever.
hallelujah amen guys i'm just gonna pray for you quickly but i'm truly believing that something has been activated in the spiritual realm because you've taken the faith and you've said this prayer you've declared this over your life and you can even add your own and in your spare time you can go back and reflect on this and add whatever you want to add but i believe psalm 118 is one of my favorites and it's powerful and i love it and i just want you to also believe I want you to believe this. I don't want you to backslide into thinking that, oh, I'll never have a good relationship. I want you to believe this, like that we've said this and moving forward, it's going to happen in your life. Heavenly Father, I bless your precious children. I thank you for their lives. I praise your holy name. <clears throat> Father, you're so good, you're so faithful, you're so true, you're so real. There's so much hope in you. There's so much future in you. There's so much promise in you. And your words will never return void. Lord, I just pray for your precious daughter or son watching right now, that you will just bless their lives, Father, in every area, in relationships specifically that we're praying for today. Guide them, bless them, protect them. Give them wisdom and true sensitivity to your spirit. Give them a hunger and desire to spend time with you, O oh God. Guide them, I pray. Encourage them. Heal them. Touch them. Shape their lives in a way that they will be part of it by prophesying over their lives as led by your spirit. Let them hunger for your will and not passing and fleeting things like imagery on social media, being in relationships just for nice Instagram pictures or business packages oh god help them to know that it's more than that this is a lifetime commitment father may it not pass them by because of of fixation on foolish things oh god give them the wisdom to see the long term give them the wisdom to know and learn what marriage is about give them the wisdom to work on themselves and not only look at the other person but look at themselves and how they can be better give them the wisdom not to waste time thinking about exes or stalking them on social media oh god Lord, we're serious about our lives and we want to take back what you have for us and what the enemy has tried to take from us. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you guys. I really hope that this has blessed you and I'll speak to you soon. Don't forget to share all your amazing testimonies when they do come to part because I do truly believe that they will. God bless. Bye.